Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the ITTF Seamaster 2017 World Tour Platinum Qatar Open, coming to you live from Doha, Qatar. I'm your commentator, Adam Bobro, and we are just starting off the day of final competitions. It's only finals left. We're about to get into the women's doubles final, as you can see on screen. We've got Jun Ji Hee and Yang Haun of Korea versus Chun Meng and Wang Man Yu of China. This will be a best of five final. You can see how the players battled to get here. Starting off in the quarter final, Jun Ji Hee, Yang Haun all the way through. Of course, neither team has lost a game or a match yet. Yang Haun, the mixed doubles world champion in 2015, partnering with Xu Xin of China. Jun Ji Hee, her left-handed teammate. While she's a little bit smaller, she likes to step around and play the big shots more. Yang Haun, a specialist in doubles. Very consistent, gets a lot of balls back on the table, never gives up. Not known for her incredible power, but on the other side of the table, Chun Meng and Wang Man Yu, the two finalists for women's singles, who will be playing the third match of the day later today. Chun Meng, arguably the fourth on the big four after the retirement of Li Xiao Shaw from the Chinese national team following the Olympics in August over the summer of 2016. Wang Man Yu, a world junior champion, just like Chun Meng, different years though. For Wang Man Yu, it was 2014. For Chun Meng, it was 2011. And Wang Man Yu playing so impressively well, very comfortable in the blocking game, the counter game, and when given time, can generate a lot of power. Relatively tall stature, Chun Meng not so small herself. Jun Ji Hee, the smallest on the court, as you can see. Jun Ji Hee starting off playing in China and moving to become a Korean citizen. And has been playing as one of the top players in Korea for some time now. She's the 12th seed in singles in this tournament, was world ranked number 13 at the time of entry. She's currently 24 years old. Chun Meng, world ranked number eight, the ninth seed in this tournament, 23 years old. Wang Man Yu, only 18 years old, the 34th seed in this tournament. And as of January 2017, was world ranked number 56. Her highest world ranking was 37. That was in March of 2015. As you see her getting loose and stretched out, making sure that everything is nice and smooth out here. No tightness. Again, sometimes if you tense up and you're on the big stage, it slows down your game, changes the muscle memory just a little bit. Chun Meng has played more finals. Then her teammate, Wang Man Yu, of course, World Junior Championships, quite a big stage, but the international stage representing the adults from China. It's quite an honor. And right now, the Marvelous 12 is happening, the top 12 women in China and the top 12 men in China competing for a spot through a very rigorous, I would say, competition to represent the country at the World Championships coming up at the end of May this year in Dusseldorf, Germany. Tickets already sold out for the last three days, but you can still get tickets, I believe, for the first few days of the competition. It's very exciting. And you'll see your favorite players from around the world. It's an incredible event, not only for culture and meeting people, but of course for table tennis, really getting a chance to see how high the level of play is all around the world. Kim In Soon, the mother of Yang Haun, women's national coach, former player from Korea as well. Again, Yang Haun, very clever in her angular play. Shots right off the bounce. Coach in the corner for the Chinese pair. In the women's singles final later on today, there will be no coach as both players are from the same national association. So in the doubles game, for those of you a little newer to the sport, it's the only time the line down the middle of the table is actually used to make sure that a serve goes from a right-handed forehand side of the table, cross court. Shots must be alternating and free play after the serve. If it does go to five games, players will switch sides when one team scores five points and they will also switch the order of play. But we'll see. While China might be the favorite in singles heavily on paper, doubles has a lot to do with how players work together. Strong receive with the opening from Yang Haun, the forehand flip. But well anticipated, quick movement. Chun Meng right back for the third ball. Oh. 
outstanding effort, but just too wide on that final punch shot from Yang Hoon. Wang Man Yu with a little bit more time again, alternating shots, taking slightly bigger strokes here, step behind the table. First point for the Korean pair, Jun Ji Hee and Yang Hoon on the board. Serve drifts just a little bit, giving the opening attack to Chun Mung. The Chinese pair very quick to move in and out, despite both being right-handed. Left and right-handers tend to work better together in doubles. Gives them the advantage for playing the middle of the table, both with their forehands, especially when given time to take the shot, like in doubles. The forehand is a lot more successful, a lot more powerful. Young Hoon gets in there quick, using her height advantage to reach out, play the ball from in front, play that flip right into the body. You can see it driving Chun Mun back just a bit. Might have felt like a dominant start to the game for the Chinese pair has quickly become just a difference of one point with the Koreans trailing. Oh. So impressive how the Chinese pair moves in and out. They're quite close to each other, able to take short stroke, uh, very short stroke shots and quickly get right back in position. See how close Chun Meng is right in front of Wang Man Yu. Taller player tends to play a little bit behind in doubles. No chance there. Jun Ji Hee taking advantage before the rotation can come in with that cross court punch shot. Beautiful acceleration of the wrist to keep some top spin on the. a bit of a traffic jam in the backcourt. Seems like what Yang Hoon was trying to do, but Wang Man Yu so quick to get out of the way. Now it's six game points for Chun Meng and Wang Man Yu on the receive. Quick shots are right off the bounce, and the Chinese pair takes game one 11 points to four. We'll be back for game two right after this.
pack for game number two. Chun Mung and Wang Man Yu in black and yellow on the right side of the screen there in the lead. One game to zero. This is a best of five. First team to win three games wins the match. Chun Ji Hee to start it off. Almost pulling out the point on two occasions. It looked like the Korean pairs were pegged. The point would have been over. Young Hoon escapes. Still running through Junji, he gets the inside out forehand from the middle of the table. The table just not wide enough for the ball to come down. Look at this backhand right off the bounce. Chun Mung very quick to play the wide angle. Also the early timing. Short stroke right off the bounce as she's moving through. Yang Hoon doesn't have time to set up and cover even with her wingspan. Edge of the table. Agility from Wang Man Yu to get the upper body out of the way. The way Wang Man Yu's been playing so far in this tournament, I wouldn't be surprised to see her on the world tour a lot more in the coming years. Challenging Chun Meng for a spot in the big four. Very fluid, loose backhand. I don't know if we'll have a chance to see in that another shot of that backhand received. But I'm sure you'll be able to see it again throughout this match. For example, didn't look too fancy, but loaded with spin. Really gets a nice tuck back on that wrist before snapping through. Young Hoon serve, and from over the table, the Chiquita. So Jun Ji Hee and Yang Hoon, the top seeds in this tournament. Their opponents came in unseeded, not in the top eight. Six, one. First time we've seen a miss in some time from Wang Man Yu. Bit behind the table. Again, very calm and smooth on that shot. Excellent punch, Yang Hoon taking advantage of a little height on the ball. I think this is what they both have to be looking for in the spin game. Jun Ji Hee and Yang Hoon, they're going to be playing against opponents who are just more seasoned in that game. But mixing up the trajectory, the variation of spins, help a lot. Three, six. Anything to break their opponent's rhythm, make them uncomfortable, feel unfamiliar with the, the balls coming in, will increase the chances for the Korean pair. Outstanding rally, but finally a shot that Jun Ji Hee can't get her legs out of the way for. When Yang Hoon played that ball with Xu Xin, he scooped the ball with heavy side spin from one foot. Jun Ji Hee started to try to do a similar shot. Three, nine. Some of these very creative shots, quite uncomfortable for players who don't practice them a lot. I know on the French national team, you see a lot of players who have this touch because they spend time playing creative shots after their training. See the same with the top Chinese players. Between training sometimes, doing trick shots and having some fun just to get solid feeling and confidence when they need it. Three, ten. And now seven game points for a two to zero lead for the unseeded pair from China. Beautiful reaction, Jun Ji Hee quick to move deep to the backhand corner and take it right off the bounce to save a game point. There's that shovel serve with some topspin and the angle, beautiful angle off the side of the table. Ten five. Attempted long push out. 
and trying to use the tactic of jamming up the Korean pair. Hit it right to where Jung Ji Hee just was. Look at this, yes, Jun Ji-hee yes. really coming to life. This combination of Yang Hoon playing out wide to the forehand and Jun Ji-hee stepping around for the inside out forehand here. He's worked successfully on a few occasions. Very satisfied, Kim In soon. For the first time, we see Jun Ji-hee try to change up the placement to break the pattern, but jammed in on the body and it's 11 to six. For Chun Meng and Wang Man Yu, one game away from taking the title. Stick around, game three coming up right after this. For game number three, Wang Man Yu and Chun Meng leading two games to zero. Wang Man Yu will start off with the serve. One, love. Now in game two, the Korean pair saved several game points in a row from down 10-3. They got three, finding some nice patterns playing the wide forehand. One on. Clever play, the Chinese pair trying to break it up playing it way wide to the forehand, so Jun Ji Hee does not have that step around shot. This is right on the line, the sideline of the table. Still Jun Ji Hee with the touch ball surprises the Chinese pair to take the point. Two, one. Some heavy underspin on the serve. Again, mixing it up, keeping the Chinese pair guessing. Shovel serve with a little bit of underspin, or maybe less topspin, straight side. Chun Meng thinks there's more topspin on it, plays it off the top of the net and out. You can see how close the racket was. Against topspin, this is the right shot. Two, three. When you hear the grunt come out, the extra effort from a step behind the table, Chun Meng has some serious backhand power, even falling away. Using all body parts well together. Four, two. Some high pressure shots from Jun Ji Hee. This isn't the first time we've seen her play it down the line from wide on the forehand so far in this game. She's moving well, anticipating, but not moving too early, just staying planted. If she turns the corner, she's going to be in trouble. Again, forehand dominant players, especially left handed players. Get used to stepping around a little bit early. Saw it with Gu Yuting, seen it with Xu Xin. Right into the body, perfect placement and hooking back into the body more. Bit of side top, watch the shot. Chun Meng almost hits Jun Ji Hee in the chest. But this time a more decisive backhand, a clearer shot for Jun Ji Hee, not tempting to turn around. Four, five. Hear a little bit of frustration there near the net microphone. Chun Meng, the shot before, was able to get the ball over the table with a full stroke. Very difficult to do. And this time, a little bit shorter. Wise decision from Yang Haun to play it softer. Force a more comfortable forehand flip. Jun Ji Hee 
patiently waiting in the center of the table for the lukewarm topspin from Chun Mung. Umpire warning the players to play. Junji he changing the pace up nicely, softer but spinny and played into the backhand side. It's a little bit of score reversal here. The table is turned. Korean pair working quite well together to shut down the high speed attack game. Placement is so important out here. Not just for one shot, but thinking about where it's coming back and where the next ball needs to go. The combination we see. Look at Four, this, the angle nine. off the side. Junji He from over punches it wide to extend the lead to five points. The Korean pair is definitely in deep water down 0 2. If they don't take this game, the title is gone. Game but right now, they are well on their way. Surely, with six game points, they should extend this match to the fourth game at least. Power comes right back on the table. The yes, Korean pair holds yeah. steady. Jun Ji Hee and Yang Haun live to see another game. Getting their first game this match. They're down 1 2, and we'll be back for game four right after this. Back for game number four, the Korean pair starting to serve. It's Jun Ji Hee, the left-handed player, who will start it off. Oh. One. This tactic worked really well in the last game. Jun Ji Hee has to stay in over the table, at least get in for the angle. It will increase her shot, increase the percentages that they will come down, give a little bit less time to the opponent, and even create a wider angle for her. The main risk is coming in over the table, getting back out of the way so that her teammate Yang Hoon can come back with a big shot, a clear stroke. There it is. This is the recipe. Why did the forehand Jun Ji Hee playing it back wide as well? She's using the backhand very effectively. The first two games was trying for the forehand a bit more. You might recall in game two saving a few game points, having a three point run, several of which involved the Jun Ji Hee step around forehand. Two, three. A well played deep on the table drives Jun Ji Hee back, a bit out of the comfort zone. Makes her a lot less effective on this shot. Even if that ball comes down, you can see Chun Mung waiting right there for the counter loop. Four, two. So with the first towel break of the game, the Chinese pair back in control. After dominating the first two games, getting dominated in the third. It's just that extra bit of kick and spin. That heavier Chinese rubber on the forehand takes a little extra strength to carry. But the ball jumps a bit differently than the non-Chinese players are used to. Five, two. So the 
timeout called for the Korean pair down three in what could be the final game of their tournament in this event. We'll get a serve again, shovel serve. Looks like she comes just under the ball, but misread by Jung Hee Hee finds the net. It's always interesting to see the evolution of service and what becomes popular at different times. The pendulum serve, the most classic serve in the game of table tennis. While we still see it a lot in table tennis, we see more shovel serves right now in the game, especially in the women's game. But even on the men's side, Mahadu Yoshimura doing it quite well. Pergarell of Sweden. Anton Schelberg, also of Sweden. In case you're curious, the new balls will be coming into play. Rumor has it that it'll be starting in Korea in April. The DHS, the ball sponsor, has a heavier ball. It's a little bit harder. It's supposed to play a bit more consistently. So they've been giving them out to some players to practice with. Three, five. So far, the timeout seems to have helped as the Korean pair take the first point out of the timeout. Patient play from Jung Ji Hee on that forehand spin shot to set up Young Hoon. See if we can see the placement here. Fifth ball, a little bit softer, but the placement was just perfect from Jun Ji Hee right to the corner, forcing Chun Mung into an uncomfortable ball. Wang Man Yu sort of saying, My bad, I'll get out of your way. Too strong. Over the table, Chiquita Banana received. power she generates is one reason just the way she tucks back the elbow forward how the elbow comes out and snaps through again with the wrist at the end much easier to do on the backhand side than the forehand Six. side from over the table Six, four. watching at home you're welcome to try with your wrist from the backhand and try from the forehand and see where you're more flexible Six, five. Much more closely contested game so far since the timeout at 2-5. Korean pair seems quite focused on playing for placement, short strokes. And interestingly enough, unlike game one and two, it's Chun Mung who's Six playing behind on. Wang Man Yu. Second towel break of the game and it's completely tied up. Four out of the next five points have gone to the Korean pair since the timeout. Keeping this momentum post towel break will be crucial for the Korean pair to see a fifth and deciding game. Come on. Players warned again to start. It's natural to want to talk to your teammate and make sure you guys have a clear plan. Six, seven. Conversation here between the players. <laughs> Two big points for the Chinese pairs. Now, the one before, Jung Ji Hee had a little bit of trouble timing on the bounce. Here just a little bit late to get to the forehand. Clever movement here from Wang Man Yu to play it wide out to the forehand side. Jun Ji Hee just a little posted up in the backhand corner. Now being the smallest player on the court, her steps aren't quite as big as the others. Nine, six. Chun Meng so strong over the table. This could be a little bit of foreshadowing for some of the quality of shot that you'll see later today in the women's singles final between the two in yellow and black right now. Teammates at the moment. Opponents later on this afternoon. Outstanding rally, but jammed up again. The short stroke trying to play it to the short side of the table. Jun Ji Hee finds the net. Wang Man Yu and Chun Meng successfully from off the table, looping once again. 
to earn themselves championship point to take the title. Beautiful backhand, and Chun Meng and Wang Man Yu are the champions for the 2017 Seamaster Qatar Open in women's doubles. And what a performance from the young Chinese pair to take down the top seeds, Yang Haun and Chun Ji He. Together, they will be making a name for themselves as a doubles pair, and maybe even later on in the World Tour Grand Finals at the end of the year, you'll be able to see this pair playing together. But only time will tell. Of course, we've got the World Championships coming up at the end of May in Dusseldorf, Germany. So keep your eyes on these two, Chun Meng and Wang, Ma Wang Man Yu. You'll be able to see them later today. Stick around, we've got the men's doubles coming up in just a bit, right after this at the 2017 Seamaster Qatar Open. 